Saludos, amados. Greetings, greetings, my que beloved nuestro Dios eterno me los bendiga en esta mañana. Uh, may our uh, eternal God bless you this morning. Es para mí un privilegio de veras compartir este sermón con cada uno de ustedes. It is for me um, a privilege to be with you uh, this morning. Y es mi oración que el Señor por medio de su Espíritu Santo nos hable a cada uno de nosotros. And it's my prayer that the Holy Spirit uh, will speak to each of us. De una forma práctica y de una forma personal. In a practical and personal way. Y me gustaría iniciar con una oración. And I would like to start uh, this morning with a prayer. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Amado Padre, gracias porque hasta aquí nos has bendecido. Dear Father, thank you because you so far you have blessed us. Gracias por tu presencia en este lugar. Thank you for your presence in this Gracias place. por nuestra salvación tan grande que hoy tenemos. Thank you for our great salvation that we have today. Y que gozaremos por el resto de nuestra and eternidad. And that we will enjoy for the rest of eternity. Espíritu Santo, habla a nuestros corazones. Holy Spirit, speak to our hearts. De una forma práctica y sencilla. In a practical and simple way. Y yo me encomiendo en ti. I entrust myself to you. Y solo deseo ser un buen instrumento en tus manos. And I only wish to be an instrument in your hand. Amen. Amen. No juzgues, Mateo 7, del 1 al 6. Uh, do not judge, Matthew uh, 7, 1 to 6. Amado, deseo confesarlos algo muy, pero muy personal. Beloved, I wish to confess something very personal. Estoy cansado de muchas cosas. I am tired of many things. Me cansa ver mucha gente perfecta. It tires me to see many perfect people. Y digo perfecta porque hoy en día abundan personas que lo saben todo. And I said perfect because nowadays there are people around us that think they know it all. Que son buenos para todo. That are really good for everything. Que siempre tienen la opinión perfecta. That always have the perfect opinion. Que siempre saben cómo se tienen que hacer las cosas. Who always know how to do things. Y que siempre encuentran un error en los demás. And that are always finding an error in other people. Y sobre todo que son dueños de la verdad absoluta. And who above all own the absolute truth. Y en el plano espiritual se creen más espirituales que otras personas. In fact, spiritually, they believe themselves to be more spiritual than others. Pero lo que realmente me cansa es ver personas juzgando a otros. But what really, really tires me is to see people judging others. Y lo que me entristece más And what saddens me more es ver cristianos cayendo en esa trampa del enemigo. Is seeing Christians, believers, falling into that trap of the enemy. Wow, pastor, me dirá alguien, ¿qué manera de iniciar? <laughs> wow, pastor, what a way to start your message. Me imagino que alguno de ustedes está pensando I'm eso. I'm imagining that some of you are thinking that way now. Pero no me juzgues todavía. But don't judge me yet, okay? Cuando vamos al pasaje de esta mañana, as we go into this morning passage, Jesús se movió a otra idea en el sermón del monte. Jesus moved on to another idea of the Sermon of the Mount. Al principio del sermón había tratado con temas conectados con la vida espiritual interior. At first, uh, he dealt with uh, themes connected with the inner spiritual life. Actitudes como el dar. Attitude as uh, giving. La oración, el ayuno. Prayer and fasting. Y el afón por las cosas materiales. And uh, eagerness for material things. Ahora toca un tema muy importante conforme a manera en que pensamos y tratamos Now a Now he touches on a very important topic according of the way we think and treat others. Recordemos que Jesús nos llamó a tener una justicia más grande de la que tenían los escribas uh, y fariseos hipócritas. We have to remember that Jesus called us to have a greater righteousness than that of the hypocrite or hypocritical uh, scribes and Pharisees. No me voy a detener a dar una cátedra de quiénes eran los escribas y fariseos porque eso usted ya lo sabe. And I'm not going to stop right here to give you a lecture of what uh, the scribes and the Pharisees were in the time of Jesus because I'm pretty sure you know who they are. Es muy triste pero nosotros los cristianos a veces podemos llegar a ser las personas más despreciables del momento. It is very sad, but Christians, we believers can sometimes become the most despicable people of the moment. Porque creemos saberlo todo. Because we think we know it all. 
Porque decimos amar a Dios cuando ni siquiera somos capaces de amar a la persona que tenemos enfrente. Because we say to love God, we were not even able or capable to love the, the person that is in front of us. O, o simplemente porque no hace lo que nosotros quisiéramos que esa persona hiciese. Or simply because they do not, the people don't do what we would like them to do. Es tan fácil criticar, menospreciar. It is so easy to criticize, belittle. Es fácil destruir, pisotear it al is, que tropieza. It is easy to destroy, trample on the one who stumbles. Es, es tan fácil decir cualquier disparate. It is so easy to say any nonsense. Pero se nos hace imposible muchas veces extender la mano sin prejuicio a aquel que ha caído. But it is impossible for us many times to extend our hand without prejudice to the one who has fallen. Y conducirlo por la senda de la restauración. And lead them on the path of restoration. Es tan fácil criticar y juzgar a los demás sin ponernos a pensar que con eso ofendemos a Dios. It is so easy to criticize and judge others without thinking that doing so we are offending God. Pues él nos ha mandado a que no juzguemos a nadie. God has commanded us not to judge anyone. Violamos tanto lo que Jesús nos ha dicho de no juzgar we, y lo hacemos. We violate so much of what Jesus has told us already to not to judge and we keep on doing it. Juzgamos en el trabajo. We judge people at work. Juzgamos a nuestra propia familia. We judge our own family. Juzgamos a nuestros hermanos. We judge our own brothers and sisters. Juzgamos a nuestros vecinos. Our neighbors. Juzgamos, juzgamos y juzgamos. We keep around judging and judging and judging. Lo peor es que lo hacemos sin darnos cuenta que muchas veces nosotros estamos actuando peor de quienes juzgamos. The worst thing is that we do it without realizing that many times we ourselves are acting or living worse than those that we are judging. Los seres humanos somos verdaderamente complejos. Human beings beings are truly complex. Tenemos la tendencia de medir a los demás de acuerdo a lo que vemos por fuera. We have the tendency to measure others according to what we see on the outside of people. Hemos hecho nuestro propio código para medir a los demás. We have made our own code to measure others, or code of ethics. Pero muy rara vez lo usamos para medir nuestra propia condición. But very, very rarely we use it to measure our own condition. Se nos hace fácil medir los comportamientos y las vidas espirituales de los demás. It is easy for us to measure the behavior and the spiritual lives of others. Utilizando lo que vemos solamente por fuera. Using what we're seeing on the outside. Olvidamos que la transformación que Jesús hace en la vida de cada persona Forgetting that the transformation that Jesus works or makes in the life of people Inicia de adentro hacia afuera begins from the inside out y cada uno de nosotros tiene un tiempo de transformación. And each one of us has a time of transformation. Sin embargo, debemos tener en cuenta que todo lo que se juzga es un elemento retributivo. However, we must bear in mind that everything is judged, it is a punitive element. Jesús nos lo dijo y nos lo dejó bien claro. Jesus told us this and he made it really clear. En Mateo 7:12. When we read Matthew 7:12. Él dice, mira la palabra, Look así at the que word. todas las cosas que queráis que los hombres hagan con vosotros, so in everything. Keep on reading. I will read the whole text. Lee todo el texto. Así también haced vosotros con ellos. Matthew 7:12, so in everything to do others what so in everything to do others what you will have them to do to you. Para que lo entendamos bien. So we, so to understand this very well. Si das enojo, recibirás enojo. If you, if you give anger, uh, you will receive anger. Si das amor, recibirás amor. If you give love, you will receive love. Si siembras amargura, recibirás if amargura. If you sow bitterness, you will receive bitterness. Pero si das paz, gozo. But if you give peace and joy y sonrisa, recibirás lo mismo. and smiles, you will receive the same. Si das compasión, recibes if, compasión. If you give compassion, you will receive compassion. Si das perdón, recibes perdón. If you give uh, forgiveness, you will receive forgiveness. Y si juzgas de la misma manera, serás juzgado. And if you judge others in the same way, you will be judged by others. 
El apóstol Pablo, guiado por el Espíritu Santo, cuando habló de juzgar, dijo lo siguiente. The apostle Paul, led by the Holy Spirit, when he, uh, when speaking of judging, he said as follow. En Romanos following. 2, 1. Romans uh, 2, 1. Mira lo que dice. Pero eres inexcusable. O sea, carente de excusa justificación for, es imperdonable uh, for which you are inexcusable uh, it means uh, without excuse or justification unforgivable pero eres inexcusable hombre quien quiera que seas tú que juzgas for you are an inexcusable man whoever you are judging pues en lo que juzgas a otro for, te, te condenas a ti mismo for in what you judge other you condemn yourself porque tú que juzgas haces lo mismo. Because you who judge do the same. Dios dice que es inexcusable quien quiera que juzga. Uh, God is saying that it, whoever judges is inexcusable. Los judíos juzgaban a los gentiles. The Jews uh, judge the Gentiles. Y los gentiles juzgaban a los judíos. And the Gentiles judge the Jews. Cada uno de estos grupos tenía argumento para juzgarse. Each of these groups uh, had an argument to judge themselves. ¿No le parece eso similar a nuestros tiempos? Doesn't this sound similar to our times? Los creyentes en Cristo, o sea, la iglesia juzga el estilo de vida del inconverso. Believers uh, in Christ, that means oh, the church, we're talking about the church, judge the lifestyle of the unbeliever. Y el inconverso nos juzga a nosotros los creyentes. And the unbeliever, the uh, unbeliever not, not saved, the people that hasn't come to Christ, they'll judge us. Cuando well. juzgamos a otro, nos condenamos a nosotros mismos. When we judge another, we condemn ourselves. Nos condenamos porque estamos incumpliendo lo que Dios ordena en su we palabra. We condemn ourselves because we are failing to do what God commands us to do on His Word, in La His Word. La pregunta que surge es. The question that arises is. ¿Por qué juzgamos? Why do we judge? Me gustaría darte una respuesta muy profunda, muy terapéutica, muy teológica, pero no la encuentro. I would like to give you a very deep, very therapeutic or theological answer, but I couldn't find one. Juzgamos porque nos gusta hacerlo. We judge because we like to do it. Juzgamos porque creo que tengo el derecho para hacerlo. We judge because we believe we have the right Juzgamos so. porque nos creemos mejores que otros. We judge because we think we are better than others. Juzgamos porque no he sido transformado a la imagen de Cristo. We judge because we haven't been transformed into the image of Christ. Y porque no amamos como Dios desea que amemos. And because we don't love as God wants us to love. Amados queridos. My beloved ones. Déjame decirte algo. Let me tell you something. Solo Dios es capaz de juzgar con justicia. Only God is able to judge justly. Amen. Amen. He's the only one. Él es el único. El Salmo 75:7 dice, so, "Mas Dios es el juez, a este humilla y a aquel enaltece." Psalm 75:7 uh, says, "It is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another." Y Jeremías 11:20 dice lo siguiente, pero oh Jehová de los ejércitos que juzgas con justicia, que escudriñas la mente y el corazón. And Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 11, 20 says something similar. It says, but you Lord Almighty who judge righteously and test the heart and mind. Amados queridos, solo Dios es capaz de juzgar only y de juzgarme God, con justicia. Only God is able to judge and judge justly. Porque Él es el que escudriña la mente y el corazón. Because He is the one that scrutinizes the mind and the heart. Por lo tanto, Él sabe bien lo que está pasando dentro de la persona. Therefore, He knows very well what is going on in people's life. Y Él es el único capaz de poder hacerlo porque lo hará con justicia, porque solamente Él es justo. And He is the only one capable of doing it because He will do it justly because He, He is just. En esa justicia siempre demuestra su amor. In his justice, he's always demonstrating his love, su his compassion, su compasión, his understanding, su his mercy. Si que somos he remembers that we are dust. Teniendo todo el derecho para juzgarme. 
God have it all the right to judge. Mira esto, hermano, esto es maravilloso. Look, look at this with me. Is it is wonderful to no me? Lo hace. He doesn't do it. No me pone en vergüenza. He never put us in shame. Solo Dios es el único capaz God de juzgarme. Is the only one who can judge me. Muchas personas son usurpadoras de un rol que no les corresponde. Many people are usurpers of a role that doesn't does not belong to them. Jesús nos dio un precioso ejemplo práctico de no juzgar. Jesus gave us a precious practical example of no judging. Dios Padre no ha venido a juzgar, ha venido a buscar He's, lo que se ha perdido. He says that God the Father has not come to judge us. He has come to seek what has been lost. Cierto día los escribas y los fariseos one day, we read this in the Bible, one day the scribes and Pharisees le trajeron a una mujer tomada en adulterio brought him a woman taken in, um, in adultery y poniéndola en medio le dijeron and putting her in the middle, they said Maestro, esta mujer ha sido sorprendida en el acto mismo del adulterio Master, this woman has been caught in the very act of adultery y la ley de Moisés nos manda a pedir a tales mujeres. And the law of Moses commanded us to stone such women. Tú pues, ¿qué dices? Now, what do you say? Maestro decía para tentarlo, they para were, poder acusarle. They were using this question as a trap to accuse him. Esa historia está en Juan capítulo 8 del 1 al 11. You can go back and read John 8, 1 Con to 11. Con frecuencia, amados, hablamos públicamente del pecado de otros. We often often publicly talk about the sin of others Mientras los nuestros están bien escondidos. while our own sin is really, really hidden. Nos dice el versículo, y poniéndola en medio a esta mujer, verse 3 told us they put her in the middle. Recordemos que todo el pueblo estaba ahí. We have to remember, just picture this woman in the middle and all the people around her. Esta mujer fue avergonzada This woman was shame, y su desobediencia se hizo pública. And her disobedience was public. Y quizá algunos que un día la usaron ahora son sus jueces. And I, and perhaps uh, some of those men who used her, they were judging her. Jesús pudo haber dicho, tienen razón. Uh, Jesus could have said to them, you, si la you are right. Dice, hay que hacerlo. If the law says it, we have to do it. Legalmente, él pudo haber tomado una piedra. Uh, legally, according to the law, he could just have taken a stone and throw it. Y lanzarla con esa mujer. And throw it to that woman. Pero no lo hizo. But he didn't. Lo primero que hizo fue no despreciarla. The first things that Jesus did was not Uh, to despise her. La vio con ojos de misericordia, He's, con ojos de amor, con ojos de compasión. He saw her with eyes of mercy, with love and compassion. No es lo mismo que nuestro Señor ha hecho por ti y ha hecho por mí. Isn't this the same that the Lord Jesus has done for you and for me? Me vio con ojos de amor cuando yo le entregué mi vida He a él. He saw me with eyes of love when I came and surrendered my life to him. Pero Jesús confrontó a los que la juzgaban. But Jesus confronted those who judge her. Y dijo, el que de vosotros esté libre de pecado, que sea el primero en arrojar la piedra. And he said to them, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone. Dice Juan 8, 10, 11. John uh, 8, uh, 10, 11 says as follow. Enderezándose Jesús... Y no viendo a nadie sino a la mujer le dijo, mujer, ¿dónde están los que te acusaban? Jesus strengthened up and asked her, woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? Ninguno te condenó. Ella dijo, ninguno, señor. Entonces Jesús le dijo, ni yo te condeno, vete y no peques más. No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, go now and live your life of sin. Amado, Dios es un Dios de amor. God is a God of love. Amen. Dios Amen. es un Dios de perdón. It's a God of forgiveness. Nos ha amado tanto que envió a su Hijo unigénito a morir en una cruz por nuestros pecados. He has loved us so much that he sent his son to me, die on the cross for me our sins. tanto que me ha dicho, Hijo, con amor eterno te he amado. He has loved me, he has shown his love and loved me that he said, with eternal love that I have loved you. Amen. Amen. 
Él no nos acusa cuando nos llama. He doesn't accuse us when he's calling us. Al contrario, ofrece perdonarnos. On the contrary, he's offering forgiveness. En lugar de juzgarnos, dio su vida por nosotros. Instead of judging us, he gave his life for us. Entonces, ¿qué derecho tenemos nosotros para juzgar a otros? Then, this is my question, what right do we have to judge others? Si ni Cristo siendo puro y perfecto lo hizo. If neither Christ being pure and perfect did it. No condenó ni a la mujer adúltera. He did not condemn even the adulterous, sino adulterous que la woman. Perdonó but forgave her. Con una advertencia. With one warning. De vete y no peques más. Of go now and leave your sin. Your life of sin. I'm sorry. La iglesia de Cristo es para todos. The church of Christ is for everyone. Amen. Amen. Sin excepción de personas. Without except, exception as people. Puede entrar por esas puertas el fariseo, el adúltero, la prostituta. The Pharisee, the adult, adulteress, the prostitute can enter through those doors. Todos son bienvenidos a la casa de All Dios. All can enter, are welcome in the house of the Lord. Estamos llamados para amar a las personas. We are called to love people. No para ocasionarles heridas. Not to cause them Wounds. Jesús le dijo a esta mujer, vete y no peques más. Eso es todo. People told this woman, now go live your life of sin. That's it. Si las personas no cambian, no es mi problema. If people don't change, that is not our problem. La seguiré amando, viendo con respeto y viendo la con dignidad. We need to continue to love them, seeing them with respect, seeing them with dignity. La iglesia de Cristo tendrá que verse como un hospital. A Christ church will have to be seen as a hospital. Donde se salvan vidas y donde se les restaura con el poder de la palabra de Dios. Where lives are saved and restored to them with the power of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Jesús fue específico en el sermón del monte. Jesus was specific in the sermon of the mount. Cuando dijo no juzguéis. When he says don't judge. Volvamos a Mateo 7:1-5. No juzguéis para que no seáis Do juzgados. Do not judge or you, you too will be judged. Estamos hablando aquí de una actitud que nace en el corazón. We're talking here about an attitude that is born in the heart. Mateo afirma que quienes actúan así, el juicio escatológico al final de los tiempos recibirá su recompensa. Mateo affirms that whoever acts like this in the eschatological judgment or the end of times es decir, será will juzgado. receive the reward. Es decir, será juzgado de la misma manera que lo hizo con otros. That is, he will be judged in the same way as he did with others. No está hablando de pérdida de salvación. Here we're not talking, he's not talking about loss uh, of salvation. Está hablando que una persona que juzga y juzga sin corregir ese mal proceder. It is talking about of a person who judge and judge without correcting that bad behavior. Posiblemente esta persona lo que ha abrazado es una religión, pero no una relación possibly, personal con Jesús. Possibly what this person has embraced is a religion, but not a personal relationship with Christ. Nosotros los de Cristo nunca debemos olvidar que estábamos bajo condenación. The believer in Christ, pay attention to this, but must never forget that we were under condemnation. We were under condemnation. Debíamos de haber sido juzgados por nuestra maldad. We should have been judged by our wickedness. Por nuestro pasado y nuestra manera vieja de vivir, our, alejado de Dios. Our past, our old way of living, far from God. Mas sin embargo, por medio de la sangre de Cristo. But through the blood of Christ. En vez de haber recibido juicio y condenación, recibimos su amor In, y su perdón. Instead of having received judgment and condemnation, we have received his love. Y nos abrazó y hoy somos sus hijos. And he embraced us and now we are his child. Nos dio un lugar y nos ha dado una familia he has maravillosa. He given us a place and has given us a wonderful family. Amen. Amen. Amados hermanos, cuando juzgamos, Estamos violando la ley de Dios. My beloved ones, when we are judge one another, we're violating the law of God. Es muy triste, como dije al principio. It is really sad, as I said at the beginning. Que la iglesia de Cristo, debiendo ser un hospital donde se sanan los enfermos o al herido. That the church of Christ should be being a, a hospital. How can I say this? Let me do it in a right mm -hmm. way. In a, 
we should be as a church a hospital, if we can say it this way, where the people that come sick and wounded are healed and restored in here in our midst. Go ahead. Debiendo ser un lugar de restauración, la iglesia de Cristo Being a place of restoration, the church of God en una corte penal. The church has become a criminal court Cuidado, this, is, this is really sad Cuidado, iglesia. Be careful church la We iglesia. are called I'm going to say this again You can clean your Yeah, okay, I give you time <laughs> Okay I just want, no, when, when Pastor was preparing this and we were sharing about this, it is sad. This is the place where when people enter these doors, have to feel loved and embraced, you know, and then we are having people that believe or think they are so perfect that we start judging and making people feel uncomfortable. The people that enter this door healed and wounded and almost dying don't find a place to refuge. They find a place where they are judging and they look at them and people feel uncomfortable. This, is, this shouldn't be like this in our church. This Amen. is not in pastor's script. I'm sorry, people that are translated in the translation booth, but I think it's important that for us to understand this. Amados Amen. queridos, la iglesia nos está mostrando el amor de Cristo. Church is not, church is not showing the love of Christ sino su propio juicio. but it own judgment es por eso que el inconverso no quiere saber de Dios ni mucho menos del perdón del Padre it is that is why the unsaved do not want to know of God much less of his forgiveness el inconverso tiene un concepto equivocado de la iglesia the unsaved have, has a misconception of the church si no quiere saber nada de iglesia and they don't want to do anything about church porque en vez nosotros de extender amor, extendemos juicio Because muchas veces. Because instead of extending love, judgment is what is extended to them. Juzgar no se refiere tanto a dar una opinión o hacer una valoración del otro. Judging does not mean so much of giving an opinion or making assessment of others. Sino a condenarlo, a establecer sobre su persona una sentencia But de muerte. But judging is, to, is condemned to establish a person death sentence. Ahora bien, cuando vamos al versículo 3. When we read a verse 3. Dice el texto. The, uh, the text says as follows. ¿Y qué miras la paja en el ojo de tu hermano? Why do you see at the speck on the sod that's Y no echas de ver la fija que está en tu propio ojo. In your brother's eye and pay no attention. Mm -hmm. ¿Sabes cuál es el problema? You know what the problem is? Somos tan buenos para ver los defectos de los demás. We are so uh, good To, uh, to see the shortcoming of others. Que no tenemos tiempo That para ver los nuestros. We don't have time to see ourselves. Estas palabras de Jesús tienen una especial resonancia para nosotros This en esta mañana. This word of Jesus has a special resonance for us today. Todos sin excepción tenemos mucho que aprender de ellas. We all without exception has so much to learn from them. Todos sin excepción tenemos que escucharlas. We, meditarlas en nuestro corazón we with all, without exception have to meditate in the word of God and put them in our hearts y ponerlas en práctica en nuestra vida cada día and put them no into juzguemos. practice in our daily life don't judge Jesús nos conoce perfectamente Jesus bien. Knows us very well. Sabe perfectamente cuáles son nuestras mayores debilidades He knows perfectly well Uh, what our greatest weaknesses y en el are. Campo de con los demás. And in the field of relationship with others. Y que intensamente para superarlas. And he wants us to work intensely to overcome them. Porque son perjudiciales para nosotros because, y para el inconverso. Because they are harmful to us and for the unsaved in every way. Olvidamos por completo que también nosotros tenemos defectos. We completely forget that we too have flaws. Que nuestras fallas pueden ser incluso más graves. That our failures can be even uh, more serious. De aquellos que muchas veces estamos juzgando. Than those of the ones we are criticizing. Recuerda, and amado, Just hemos remember, sido perdonados. We have been forgiven. Muchas de las cosas que hoy juzgamos de los demás. Many of the things that now as believers are judging of others. Como dijo el apóstol Pablo en 1 Corintios 6, 11, éramos algunos de nosotros. Many of us are judging those ones forgetting what the apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6, 11, when he said, and that is what some of you were. Jesús dice en el versículo 4. Jesus says on uh, verse 4. 
¿O cómo dirás a tu hermano, deja sacar la paja de tu ojo y aquí la viga en el ojo tuyo? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? Hipócrita. You hypocrite. Saca primero la viga de tu propio ojo. First take the plank. Y entonces verá bien eye. para sacar la paja del ojo de tu hermano. And then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eyes. ¿Sabes qué es lo que pasa? You know what is happening here? Jesús nos hace ver algo que es triste. Jesus make us see something that is sad. Siempre queremos tratar de ver lo gris de las personas para esconder lo negro de we mi always, alma. We always we always are trying to see the gray parts of other people to hide the blackness in our souls. El Señor le llama hipócritas. The Lord calls them hypocrites. Porque llegamos al extremo de no echar de ver las grandes faltas que nosotros cometemos. Because we go as far as not see the great fault esa, that we have committed. Esa es la viga de nuestro propio ojo. That is the plank in our own eye. Esto significa que cuando estamos juzgando a otros no echamos de ver que nosotros estamos peores This means que that esa persona. While, while we're judging other, we miss seeing that we are in worse condition. La vida espiritual de una persona no se mide por las grandes cosas que hace o demuestra. A person's life, spiritual life, is not measured by the great things they do or demonstrate. Sino por los pequeños detalles but the, que realizan. By realiza. the small details that they perform. Con amor with y con compasión. With love and compassion. El Señor nos da una recomendación. And the Lord is giving us here a recommendation. Que antes de juzgar a otros, nos analicemos y veamos nuestras propias faltas. That before we start judging another person or others, we analyze ourselves and see our own fault first. Y solo entonces podríamos ser capaces de ayudar al hermano and, con sus pecados. And only then we can be able to help, not to judge, to help our brothers and sisters with their sin. Creo que muchas personas... I believe that many people should be asking God for forgiveness han caído en esta del because they have fallen into this trap of the enemy y se han en y en and have become into a judge or ju justice makers. Amados, My beloved ones, llevemos esto con nosotros en esta mañana. Let's take away this with us this morning. Quiero terminar recordándoles I want to end by reminding you que el Je Señor Jesús nos enseña en esta porción del monte. What the Lord Jesus is really teaching us in this portion of the Sermon of the Mount. Primero, number one, no juzgues a nadie. Do not judge anyone. Usted no es el juez. You are not the judge. No asuma un papel que no es el suyo. Don't take a role that it doesn't belong to you. No caiga en esa trampa. Don't fall into this trap. Segundo. Number two. Quiero recordarte que tú y yo habríamos sido juzgados de manera diferente si Cristo no hubiera entrado en nuestras vidas. I want to remind you, please don't forget this, that you and I will have been judged differently if Christ has not come into our lives. La palabra de Dios nos enseña que lo que recibimos de gracia, de gracia lo extendemos. The word of God teaches us that what we receive freely, freely we give. Tenemos que extender amor, misericordia we, y no juicio. We need to extend love and mercy, no judgment. Si fallamos, Él restaura nuestra vida. If we, if we uh, fall, uh, He restores our lives. Él levanta al caído. He lifts up the fallen. Jesús, amados, nos dicen esta mañana al igual que se lo dijo a la mujer encontrada en el acto mismo del adulterio. One thing Jesus is telling us, you, this, you and I this morning, as well as what he said to the woman found in the very act of adultery. Yo tampoco te condeno. Jesus is saying, I don't condemn you either. Vete y no peques más. Go now and live your life of sin. Amen. Amen. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Señor Jesús, te damos gracias por el consejo de tu palabra. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the counsel of your word. Es mi oración que no regrese vacía. It is my prayer that it doesn't uh, return empty. A ayúdanos siempre a recordar lo que hemos recibido de ti. Help us, help us, Lord, always to remember what we have received from you. Gracias porque el juicio que merecíamos fue cancelado. Thank you, Lord, because uh, the judgment we deserve was canceled. A nuestro favor con la muerte tuya en la cruz. Was canceled in our favor with your death on the cross of Calvary. 
Espíritu Santo Holy Spirit, si en este momento hay alguien que no ha experimentado tu perdón if, uh, es mi oración que no importa la falta it is my prayer that no matter the fault, puede acercarse a ti they can come close to you. así como lo hizo esta mujer de la cual leímos en esta Just ocasión as the woman we read about this morning. en tu nombre oramos Jesús en tu nombre oramos Jesús Amén. Amén.